Alright, what's going on everybody? We're the Erie Better Beer Bureau, back at you with another video review. I'm Mark. And I'm Maury. Today we got one from Dry Dock out of Aurora, Colorado. This is their double coffee porter aged in whiskey barrels for 10 months. Um, it says cold brewed coffee was added to Dry Dock's naked porter, which was aged in whiskey barrels to create this complex beer. Double coffee porter smells of roasted coffee and oak staves with hints of dark chocolate. So, I uh, had a couple beers from Dry Dock. Yeah. I don't know how many you've had. I've had a couple. Um, but real interested in this one, so we'll get into it and let you know what we think. Mm. Wow, coffee and chocolate. Coffee, chocolate, <laughs> and I'm getting a little bit of, little bit of bourbon. There's the bourbon. Yeah, I got it yep. the second time around. Yep. First time was all coffee and like dark chocolate. Yeah, definitely me. chocolate. Mm. Wow, it's really chocolatey. Maybe yeah, more so than more the than coffee. coffee. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but the bourbon is there. Yep. It's got it's a nice aroma. There isn't a lot going on, but you get what they say you're right. getting. You're getting chocolate, you're getting coffee, and you're getting bourbon. Yeah, very mm. pleasant smelling. It's not it one is. of those aromas that's like huge and in your right. face, but it's definitely appropriate, yeah. pleasant. Right. I mean, it is a porter, you know, not like some of the big heavy it stouts. Smells, it is a porter. Yeah. And it smells sweet, but it doesn't smell like it's going to be really sweet no, to me on the nose. No, there's definitely some, uh, some oak character to it and maybe yeah. uh, a nice sweetness. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Chocolate yeah. and coffee. <laughs> yeah, it just follows the taste. Real nice mouthfeel, creamy mouthfeel, smooth. Just a little bit of the burn, you know, not much, but yeah. Other than that, the uh, yeah, the it's alcohol is well hidden. Yeah, real smooth. <sighs> mm. Yeah, you know, chocolate. It's not a coffee bomb. No, I don't struggle to get the coffee. No, but it's not like you know, like some of these other coffee yeah. stouts and porters. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, the coffee's dialed back just a little bit. It's not like an yeah. espresso stone. Right. Right. You know, it's like chocolate up front. That's where you get the chocolate. And then as it fades, you get the roasted yeah. coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, another not real complex, but it it delivers what it says it is. Yeah. I mean, everything is there, and it's real balanced. I guess they said they added, what, flaked uh, flaked barley for the for the smoothness or something mm -hmm. in there. Wow, it works. Man, it, Makes it drinks really like creamy. a porter, though. Yeah, it does. You know, a little bit definitely doesn't drink like a stout. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this one an even four out of five. Um, like I said before, really balanced. You know, I get that coffee, get a chocolate flavor, you know, drinks like a porter, has the body of a porter. Um... You know, there's a, a little bit of bourbon, too. Nothing's overdone on this beer, but you get just enough of everything. Um, you know, it's 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 not, like I said, it's not overly bold, mm -hmm. but it's brewed really well. Yeah. It's balanced really well. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. All right. I'm going to go up just a little bit. I'm going to give it a four, two, five. Um, you know, so many times, especially lately, that you get a beer and it says one thing on the bottle and it just doesn't deliver. And I think this delivers all the way through, you know, the, the coffee, the chocolate, a little bit of the bourbon, and I think everything is just perfectly balanced. I mean, this is a really nice, really nice porter. Um, give it a 4.25.